What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with One Piece episodes 17 through 20. We left off still in the same arc, which is a shocker to me. We are still fighting Captain Kuro, Clahador, however, whatever he wants to go by. But Luffy and him have had some very stellar disagreements on the term piracy and what being a true pirate means. We got Usopp with Zoro going to deal with Django, who's also trying to deal with Kaya and the kids in the forest. So right now, this arc is coming to a climax. I'm assuming it is going to end in this session, and we're going to be moving on to the next one. I am very, very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, up to four episodes, one piece up to eight episodes, make sure you go check out that Patreon. Links are down in the description, like always. You guys can also watch this uncut and early with me over on the Twitch. Um, twitch.tv slash dapper darius make sure you guys subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel make sure you guys check out all the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter all at dapper darius let's hop right on into this i'm not gonna read the title i gotta get used to, to not doing that um but one piece episode 17 let's do it that pussyfoot technique is insane I like I do like how he always does that before he starts it, you know. Okay, Kuro? Luffy is on his ass too. With this groovy ass music in the background. That was smart. Stop his movements by just wrapping him up. That is true. They would probably be <laughs> voting for Luffy at this point. Because they just they just don't want to die. Hell yeah. Those are the Usopp pirates. Shovel to the butthole. That would... Oh. Oh, for the Usopp snipe. I was wondering. I was like, what are we cutting this branch for? And we know Usopp is precise. You know, ooh, that was a good transition. We are cutting back and forth between this fight. Special attack, exploding star. Oh my god, that could kill someone. Luffy's hitting him with a gum gum headbutt. Luffy walked so Tanjiro could run. This man's got that cranium. That was actually kind of fire. He <laughs> wound that motherfucker back. Yeah, I was about to say, if you're not knocked out from that, I don't know. Like, that's an ultimate little move right there. Monkey D. Luffy. Remember it. Spread the name around. I love how he was, like, personally insulted by Kuro's cowardly ways, you know? I love that. When he dies. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna be remembering his name for a long-ass time. If I was them, I wouldn't take him. If I was them, I would kill him. I definitely agree. Like, get the fuck out of here, Luffy. Can these guys run? Hell yeah, that's the man, but... Don't take, let's put Kuro in jail. I mean, he's a pirate, so we can't be snitching on other pirates. I don't know. Let's kill Kuro. Fuck it, man. We're beat. We're exhausted. That is facts. <laughs> that's typical Luffy, but Nami's not wrong at all. Of the typical pirates, they're going to be more like Kuro instead of Luffy. Yeah, I was going to say, I would think we would want to tell them, you know, change their opinion of us. See, we're actually a good guy willing to put our lives on the line. I mean, I get that. My man Usopp's a real one. He's kind of like Saitama in that way in which he kind of doesn't give a fuck what people think about him, you know? 
They can just live happily ever after, not knowing anything ever ever happened, you know? It was all a lie. <laughs> They're all used to Usopp coming. It throws everyone off that he's not coming. <laughs> okay, I don't know the villagers secretly care about him. Shouts out to Usopp. How are we going to convince Usopp to come with us? Or is he going to convince us he wants to come with us? Because Luffy already said, I want this man on my, my, my squad, you know? You can tell he's nervous. This is a this is a huge decision for him. He's giddy. He gets to finally be like his dad. Especially someone who stayed in the same spot, you know, their whole life. I get it. Hells yeah. Nope. For once, we're actually we're being straight up on us the whole time. You'll miss those good old times. Those were the good old days. <laughs> a Cerberus, a dragon, them and their tails, you know. Okay. Carpenter, have your own pub. A novel writer, very three different but all awesome occupations. Never let the fires of your ambitions go out. These guys are all ugly crying. That's how you know they truly care. There's some real ones. Aw. That is sad. But it's also a very, very happy time for Usopp, you know? <laughs> it's more like happy sad. It's more like tears of joy. Some money, some food, some supplies. It's like Avatar The Last Airbender. We just go around helping little villages, doing our, you know, pirate thing, getting supplies and money. Recognition, spreading the name of the good old Monkey D. Luffy. God damn, that backpack is fucking big. <laughs> I know. What the hell were you thinking? That is not going to fit on our boat alone, let alone the rest of the squad. Oh, oh. I literally look like Luffy right now. I saw Mar I saw a flag or picture of Mary. First off, is that Mary? Mary's okay. Team sails and a central stern rudder. The going Mar Mary. Ah, okay. I like it. That is su that is such the truth that I love it. He's going to come back with actual stories that are going to be more lie-like than those actual lies. That's how crazy this world is. Come on. After what we just went through? It'd be crazy to think we're, we're not friends. We just fought an entire pirate gang together. I know. Obviously, Luffy's the captain. Is that so? So this was the start of him and his escapades, you know. Is that a thing? In this world, I could totally picture anything like that being real. That lie also contains his wish. Pirates are here. I kind of like that. I know, right? I'm kind of like Kai. I'm like, God damn.
Cheers to our new ship and our crewmate. That is insane. What's what's their what's their brilliant plan? <laughs> Hell yeah. The tradition continues. The USOP pirates, even though they're disbanded, still going on strong. Hell yeah, Kaya. That's what we love to hear. He'd be a great doctor. Honestly, ending that arc. That was a great arc, you know? That was a great little arc. Usopp is a great addition to the squad, I must say. Alright, on to episode 18. Let's do it. Oh my god, we got a whole we got a new ship. We got a ship. Look at my man. <laughs> I thought my screen was fucked up. I thought the animation... What? what the fuck is that, Luffy? Don't forget about me, the gifted artist. Because, yes, anything, anything is better than that. Usopp's kind of like those guys. I know people in real life who will just lie all the time just to... Actually, that's not bad, but he definitely made himself the flag. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Got the straw hat and everything. I love it. Just like your typical skull and bones, which fun fact, if you guys have not, if you guys love pirates, have not seen Black Sails, watch Black Sails live action show. Jack Rackham is the man, is the pirate, real life pirate who made the signature pirate flag that we all know and love. Just thought I'd throw that fact out there. Keep that in your brain. Oh, Treasure Island. That's funny that I'm talking about Jack Rackham, a character in the prequel to Treasure Island, and we're going to Treasure Island. Now, I don't mean to pause it too many times, but I'm very open-minded when it comes to the world building of this show. Is it going to be more grounded like Hunter x Hunter, where there's not really god-like presence or is it going to be more like naruto and other shows where we can see some i don't know so like when they say a god's wrath it could be some i i literally am going into this so blind i hope you guys know that i am expecting an actual god actually i don't know i don't know i'm kind of hyped though like we have devil fruits we have rubber men we have like i'm saying this could show me anything and i would not be surprised like is it gonna be like greek mythology japanese mythology i know naruto had like amaterasu this that and the other actually japanese deities you know are we talking poseidon so this is like a chimera island just a bunch of mixed up animals it's literally like avatar the last airbender See, I don't think a god would be talking like this, though. So that's what I'm like. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. So this seems more like someone who's just protecting their sacred island by pretending to be a god. I know, right? Well, what kind of god used to be a pirate? But... So some people don't even believe in the devil fruits because of how rumored and crazy they sound, which I understand. Talk about I talk about traps, little booby traps. Oh my god, you lucky man. Ooh, he's got the strap too. That was right for his heart too. Little did you know he can reflect it and just launch it. So who is this Fortnite bush that we need? What? The fuck is this? Of anything I was expecting, it was not a... No, whatever the fuck this is. I was going to describe him, but no. Imagine being stuck in a box for 20 years like that. 
Like not like what the heck? That'd be horrible. This man is out of it. Say it loud and proud. I can't wait till we actually get to the grand line. I am very excited to get there. I wonder how long it'll be before we get there. With dream within a dream beyond a legend. 20 years since the start of the great pirate era. That's crazy. Yeah. And then you became the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> he just started going into a story, ignoring Nami. It's a cool ship, though. Gaimon. Bro, look at his head. It literally looks like he would fit. It looks like he's an either in Family Guy or it would fit perfectly for a chest. Like. That's how we got stuck in a chest. That seems like the most uncomfortable position I've ever seen in my... That's fucked up. So that's why he's been scaring people off for 20 years. So no one else can get that fortune. That's fire. That's actually dope. I hope she doesn't steal it. I hope she actually gives it to him. Because he's been waiting 20 years in that horrible position for... Okay, we have... What the fuck are we writing on? A turtle something. I know, right? Luffy's... Luffy's being kind of dirty right now. What, they're empty? So we didn't want to toss him down to disappoint him? Damn. 20 years. Damn. We got Gaimon joining the squad. I mean, he seems like a great guy. I just was not expecting us to go to an island, Treasure Island, find a chest-fused bushman, and, and have him join the squad. Oh, he's staying. He's made home with these animals over 20 years, you know. Can we at least get this chest off you? Or are you just going to live as a chess man? <laughs> Most definitely. That is a fucking tiger elephant that's standing up. So, was not expecting this episode at all. But I'm more shocked that we are just leaving him in that chest. That sucks. But hey, shout out Gaimon. Hell yeah, brother. We plan on it. And when we do, we'll come back. I wonder if we're ever going to see him again. Like, that is just... That was such an interesting episode to me. Oh my lord. Alright, on to episode 19, I believe. Let's do this. Oh, we got cannonballs. No title for us. Oh! Starting it off with a Zoro flashback. He went to a sword training school. Okay. So he's not going to school. He's challenging the dojo. 
Oh, she's the one from his flashback, and she's his daughter. And she was the one, if I remember from his flashbacks, who would always call Zoro weak. You're too weak, Zoro. And he was like, I want to be the world's best swordsman for her. You know, I can't die yet, so I can use as many as I want, right? Like, I get it. You, you want to be a little OD, but this is OD. And that's about what we expected. I refuse to lose to this girl. And she smacks you silly. He, I'm not going to say he looks raggedy. Like, I'm not trying to roast him or, like, insult him or anything. But he does look somewhat raggedy in terms of his appearance. Like, I'm curious to know his familial situation, you know? That's what we like to hear. Lots and lots and lots. That motivation, that resolve is exactly what we like to hear. Sun, sleet, snow, wind, rain, don't matter. My man is out there training. I'm like that kid on the left. Still no match for Kuina, though. Wow, never lost. Mm-hmm, that's what I remember her saying. So, at what point do we go to the three-sword technique? Right? What rivalries do? Zoro is accepting his defeat gracefully. He has, He knows he's just not ready. He has more training to do. As a sensei, he must be proud his daughter is fucking swaggy as she is. That sucks. That just being a woman alone, you know. Damn. He's just one of those old style people who are locked in their ways you know he's not saying that from a malicious standpoint he's just trying to have her from his per perspective accept reality you know and not chase like a false dream that will never be achieved in which i disagree with him i think obviously she should keep going you could do whatever the f you, you know you set your mind to but i get i get both of their perspectives whoa these are real swords these are not bamboo swords this is like Demon Slayer, Sabito and Tanjiro, and they're like, okay, we're going to use a real one now. I do not like how dangerous this is. Don't get me wrong, they're professional, but... The Wado Ichimonji. I love how silent it is. The wind on the grass. It's like a samurai is heaven in terms of, you know, it's like a chess match before it even starts. I don't know why, but they're going at this like they're swinging with force. Like I'm nervous as shit. Kuina still doesn't even look like she's really breaking a sweat. That would make a big difference, you know. Two swords would be extremely a lot heavier. You'd be a lot more tired. And you wouldn't be able to swing with as much pressure as with one. Oh. Yeah. Technically, you both should be. You guys just have, like, these unstoppable obstacles in front of you, you know? Yeah, that must be heartbreaking to hear for her, man. That sucks. So she at a certain point knew that, but still, like, you all, it's not going to stop you from wanting to chase your dreams, you know? And then from his point of view, he's like, right? Like, why are you complaining? You're stronger than me. I've never been able to beat you. Boy this, girl that. 
Facts. I get both POVs. I get it. I uh, love it. It's a great duality of a relationship right here, you know? Mm, I love that. Whether it's me or you, we'll compete, make each other better. Promise me, one of us will be it. I like that. Zoro's, Zoro's a real dude. Zoro's my guy so far. What? Are you kidding me? I was just fucking with their relationship so much. Their rivalry was... I was already gonna say it's fucking... Damn, man. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy the training was going well, my man was getting stronger, but I'm kind of butthurt now. I really wanted to see her in the future. See her, see Zoro now. You know, like his progress. Now he's just using his grief and his anger to make him stronger, you know? He's going beyond beyond. That is, oh, that's like a bridge of Terabithia vibes right there, you know? Get that fleeting glimpse of them, you know? That feeling. And he never did technically get to accomplish his goal, so it's obviously horribly sad that his friend is gone and his friend is no longer with us, but his goals, her goals... He's been holding, that's like Shikamaru, he's been holding these in, you know? All these pent-up emotions. I need to write down the name, because she, she had a... Hell yeah, man. I think, uh, I think someone's cutting onions with those swords, it's not, it's not me, I swear. Good man. Good man. Ah, uh, damn, man. And now we got adult Zoro, who can cut boulders and, like... Eight years, that's crazy. So this is when he finally left. Damn. Damn, man, that transition. What's up with these fire backstories already, man? We're on episode, what, like 19? God damn. Zoro's already my fucking favorite. It goes Zoro and then Shanks, right, right below him. God damn, man. We've taken the heads of many a pirate. Are you the nameless pirate wannabes trying to kill my partner? Are we getting more Zoro backstory? Big bro Zoro. So, oh God, am I ready for some Zoro stories? Yosaku. We got Johnny and Yosaku. God damn, am I too hyped? All right, this is the final episode of this sesh. This is episode 20. Let's do it. He was like, Big bro Zoro. Oh, damn, he is injured. His teeth? What the hell is going on? That's unfortunate. We apologize about that. Had no idea. Yeah, look at those two. They probably feel like assholes. God damn it. We gotta be careful where we're shooting cannonballs. I'm with them. I didn't even think about that. Uh-huh. They're all crying because they thought the horrible thing they did, you know? Hey, get some get some limes, come on. Yeah, can you guys get it in his mouth? Oh, it's scurvy. I've heard of that. What causes scurvy again? Isn't it the lack of nutrition or the lack of something? Eating veg I don't know what it is. Don't look at me trying to sound smart. I'm an idiot. I, kn I knew it was a disease that a lot of sailors would have back in the day, you know? Make the trip from the EUs to the Americas. A deficient of plant-derived nutrients, yep. Didn't carry fresh fruits and vegetables since they weren't storable, yeah. They're just shoving limes in his fucking mouth at this point, like, Be alive! Come back! 
the the pirate bounty hunter duo. They used to be colleagues because we knew who used to be the pirate hunter Zoro. Aniki. That's why we need a chef. And I know exactly the chef we need to grab. A seafaring cook. Close to the Grand Line. We're getting closer, guys. I want to go to the Grand Line so bad. Got the Going Mary going north, northeast. Ooh, it literally is a floating restaurant. The Barati. It's shaped like a... I love that. That whole fish seafood aspect. The Barati. Looks dope. I want to eat there. Get some fi Imagine fish and chips on the Barati. They literally catch it and then, you know, Jesus. It is the same Knuckle Boy. <laughs> Shut up, Usopp. He's got the he's got the wanted posters on deck. Why does she seem so interested in this very per Is this the pirate that killed the people close to her? I must I would assume her parents, the reason she hates pirates. Got a wanted poster for a potential Nami boss later. Talk about a shockwave. Oh, he had to miss aim because of the let go of the stability. You got insurance on that? Luffy might need to pay damages. Actually, they should pay damages. So, Head Chef Zeph is like, what, injured? Oh my, this man is bleeding out of his head and he still wants to get back to work. That is a lovely mustache, we'll say. Or hat, or something. <laughs> We're gonna have to work it off, right? Like that's the only way we could that's the only thing we can do in this situation. We gotta work it off. I'll make proper amends, hell yeah. Chores unpaid for a year. God damn. It technically is, but it technically is his fault because he directed that at them. If the Navy Oh, who does that look like? Looks like a character I know. Looks like a character who's my profile picture on Discord. This man is a sommelier. This man's a wine connoisseur. Burgerstein. Okay. He said that is damn wrong, sir. Sanji, the sous chef. Damn, my man got embarrassed. And you know someone like him hates getting embarrassed. He did that on purpose to make himself look like a wine fucking expert, and it backfired. So I wonder whose fault that was. I'm assuming Sanji's. I've decided. Three weeks. It's your final offer. Take it or leave it. Ten years. You can't wait a whole nother one of those, you know? Kind of dirty for that. This man is just quick witted. Lieutenant Full Body with his iron fist is very upset now. Skimming a soup is very important too. Got to get that fat, all the gross stuff off as well. I re I understand why he's so pissed. It's our first time seeing his face. We got Luffy getting his ass whooped by Zeph. At the same time, my man has turned into Hitmon Top, the Pokemon. 
what scene are we going to walk in on? I mean, facts. Don't provoke the cook. That's the real dude. I remember watching Black Sails, like, when they would kill an entire ship full of pirates, when they would kill every single one, the one they would let live is the cook. You don't fuck with the cook. Okay, Sanji? Those were some fantastic episodes. I must say, it does feel great leaving an arc. I'm so glad I'm doing minimum four episodes at a time. I think eventually I am going to maybe up this to... I don't, I don't know. I'm going to do minimum four every sesh, but... It does feel really good doing minimum four because I get, I feel like I get so much content. Like we ended the arc, we had the resolution to the Kuro and Usopp arc, which was fantastic. I, I love that episode in and of itself, disbanding the Usopp pirates, the Usopp flashback, the story with his mom, the story with the little kids and how they're gonna continue his legacy. I love that, love that to death. Then we had a fantastic story immediately after that about Gaimon his treasure, his love for this new land, him connecting to Luffy about the One Piece, him realizing Luffy's a great dude. Like, again, another fantastic story, which I would love these stories individually as well. And then we got my favorite episode after that, the Zoro backstory, which I love how it all took place during one of his dreams because this man is known to be a sleeper. And it was while they were practicing how to get, you know, how to shoot a cannonball. I love that. It was all just like a brief, it literally was just like a dream. But that story so far like shanks was my favorite backstory beforehand don't get me wrong shanks is fucking amazing but i think zoro's takes the cake right now absolutely love that story i love how there was absolutely no malice in there zoro was frustrated he could never beat kuina kuina was frustrated she could never beat the system and together they were going to work together to just constantly get better and at some point one of them would do it and then life man life took her away and he, I loved the whole pent up frustrations he was dealing with that conversation with Kuina's father, you know, like he was so proud of her and her competitiveness and her ability to achieve what she was able to, but so upset, you know, and he got reminded of the sadness every time he saw Zoro and Zoro stayed there another eight years after that, continued to be a badass and took her swords, the, the Wado Ichimonji. Uh, whoo, that story was fantastic. And then after that, we're continuing i didn't even mention we got a boat we got a boat from kaya that's fucking amazing shouts out kaya and mary and all them the going mary shouts out usopp for the for the drawing the artist capabilities but now we got our new we don't have our newest member yet but i know he's gonna join the squad eventually we just met sanji the sous chef i really like zef too the barati we finally saw this restaurant i can't wait to see more locations i've been told the world building in one piece is damn near unparalleled and for them to have so many named characters and for them to have so many named locations, I not only am down to watch this show, but like I'm down to watch other reactors watch this. I'm down to rewatch this, get maps, get like I want to invest. Like I want to be fully, I want to dive headfirst deep into this world. I was going to say some, some crazy ass out of pocket shit, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Overall, fantastic episodes, fantastic journey so far. Been loving the show, been loving these characters surprisingly more than i thought like i went into this with very high expectations because obviously people say this is the goat piece this is the peak of fiction all this that and the other i came into this with high expectations already and i'm still being pleasantly surprised so i mean we only are going up from here too like oof, i'm unbelievably excited but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if you guys want eight episodes ahead, don't want to wait till next week to watch these, watch the full length, all that, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.